byte b. A byte is the foundation of digital storage. It equals 8 bits and each byte can store a single character, like a, a number, or a symbol. For example, the word hello takes up 5 bytes. Every text message, photo, or video begins with bytes stacked together. Even though it feels tiny, bytes are like digital atoms, small on their own but powerful when billions are combined. Kilobyte, KB. One kilobyte equals 1024 byte. That's about half a page of type text or a very small image. In the early days of computing, programs were written to fit inside a few kilobyte. The old floppy disk stored just 360 kilobytes, and yet people played games, wrote documents, and even ran business software from it. A kilobyte shows how far technology has come. Today, you can take a single photo on your phone, and it's bigger than 100 kilobyte. Megabyte, MB. A megabyte is 1,024 kilobytes, about 1 million byte. A typical photo is 1 to 2 megabytes, and a 3-minute MP3 song takes around 3 to 5 megabyte. In the 1990s, owning a computer with 500 megabytes of storage felt like luxury, enough for thousands of documents or a whole music library. To put it in perspective, just one 1 MB can hold about 400 pages of plain text. Even though MB sound small today, they were once the kings of storage. Gigabyte, GB. A gigabyte equals 1,024 megabytes, or roughly a billion byte. 1 GB can store 600 photos, 230 songs, or a 2-hour HD movie. In the early 2000s, a 20 gigabytes hard drive was considered enormous, while today, most smartphones start at 64 or 128 gigabytes. Apps, games, and even operating systems measure themselves in gigabytes now. Fun fact. One gigabyte of plain text could store about 1,000 thick novels, a small digital library in your pocket. Terabyte, TB. A terabyte is 1,024 gigabytes, or a trillion byte. With one terabyte, you could store around 250,000 songs, 500 hours of HD video, or millions of documents. Many modern laptops, gaming consoles, and external drives now come with 1 to 2 terabytes as standard. Cloud storage services also give terabytes of space for photos and backup. To compare, the entire library of Congress's text collection is estimated at about 10 terabytes, meaning your home hard drive could rival one of the world's biggest archive. Petabyte, PB. A petabyte equals 1,024 terabytes, or a quadrillion byte. That's enough to hold 13 years of non-stop HD video. Companies like Netflix manage petabytes of video for streaming, while research centers like CERN store particle physics data in PB. A single petabyte could hold 500 billion pages of text or more photos than you could ever take in a lifetime. We don't use PBs in daily life, but for big tech, it's already the standard measure. Exabyte, EB. An exabyte is 1,024 PB, or a billion gigabyte. Back in 2001, researchers estimated the entire internet contained about 5 exabytes of data. Today, humanity creates more than that every single month. One EB could hold a trillion books or around 250 million DVDs. It's hard to imagine. Storing an EB would require an entire warehouse of servers, all running non-stop just to keep the data accessible. Zettabyte, ZB. A zettabyte equals 1,024 EB, or a trillion gigabyte. Global internet traffic in 2020 alone hit around 4 ZB. That's every video streamed, every email sent, every photo uploaded. 1 ZB could hold 30 billion 4K movies, more than you could ever watch in a lifetime. Big tech companies, cloud services, and governments now talk about zettabytes when measuring worldwide data. It's the scale where data stops feeling human-sized and starts feeling planetary. Yottabyte, YB. A yottabyte is 1,024 ZB, or a septillion byte. It's the largest official unit of storage, so big that no system today can store it. A single YB could hold every document, song, photo, and video ever made in human history, with space left left over. Scientists use it as a way of imagining future data growth. If today we measure the internet in zettabytes, someday, as our world creates more data, we may truly need yottabytes. From the humble byte to the mighty yottabyte, storage units remind us 
how quickly technology has grown. What once seemed huge, a megabyte or a gigabyte, now feels tiny compared to the data we generate daily. And it all begins with just one byte. If this helped you see data in a new way, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us for more Tech Explained Simply.